Thank you. When I was a kid, adults used to bore me to tears with their tedious diatribes about how hard things were when they were growing up, what with walking 25 miles to school every day, uphill both ways, through year-round blizzards, carrying their younger siblings on their back to their one-room schoolhouse where they maintained a straight-A average, despite their full-time after-school job at the local textile mill where they worked for 35 cents an hour just to help keep their family from starving to death. And I remember promising myself that when I grew up, there was no way in hell I was going to lay a bunch of crap like that on kids about how hard I had it and how easy they've got it. But now that I've reached middle age, I can't help but look around and notice that the youth of today, you've got it so fucking easy. I mean, compared to my childhood, you live in a goddamn utopia. And I I hate to say it, but you kids today, you don't know how good you've got it. I mean, when I was a kid, we didn't have the internet. If we wanted to know something, we had to go to the goddamn library and look it up ourselves. And there was no email. You had to actually write somebody a letter with a pen. And then you had to walk all the way to the mailbox and it would take like a week to get there. And there was no MP3s or file sharing. If you wanted to steal music, you had to go to the goddamn record store and shoplift it yourself. (laughs) Or you had to wait around all day and tape it off the radio and the DJ would usually talk over the beginning and fuck it all up. You want to hear about hardship? You couldn't just download porn. You had to bribe some homeless dude to buy you a copy of Hustler from the 7-Eleven. It was either that or jack off to the lingerie section of the JCPenney catalog. Those were your options. And there was no such thing as call waiting. If somebody else called and 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 the phone rang, you had no idea who it was. It could be your mom, a boss, your drug dealer. You didn't know. You just had to pick up your... Phone and take your chances, mister. And there was no such thing as call, there was no such thing as fancy Sony PlayStation video games with high resolution 3D graphics. We had the Atari 2600 with games like, with games like Space Invaders and Asteroids and the graphics sucked ass. Your guy was a square. You had to use your imagination and there were no multiple levels or screens. It was just one screen forever and you could never win. The game just kept getting harder and faster until you died. Just like life. Those kind of games built character, Sonny Jim. And when you went to the movies, there was no such thing as stadium seating. If a tall guy sat in front of you, you were fucked. And sure, we had cable television, but back then that was only like 20 channels and there was no on-screen menu. You had to use a little book called the TV Guide to find out what was on. And there was no Cartoon Network. You can only get nonstop cartoons on Saturday morning. Do you see what I'm saying? We had to wait all week, you spoiled little bastards. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The problem with you kids today is you got it too easy, you're spoiled. I swear to God, you wouldn't last five minutes back in 1987.